Welcome everybody, Eugene Hughes Motorized. Check out my new toy here, 50cc scooter. I know most of you who've been watching me, you've been liking my motorized bike stuff. I'm still going to do that, but hey, I want to get into all sorts of motorized creations. We're going to play with these scooters now. So I've ordered this thing online, took about 10 days or so to get to me. Come on in, let me show you how I unboxed it and what I found. All right, here you go, Amigo Magari 50cc scooter. Unboxing, you've got the metal frame there on the inside, kept the bike protected. There was no damage to the bike whatsoever. Had to loosen up the eight millimeter bolts all the way around the bottom of it here. Remove the strap and a clamp that's holding the front wheel, holding the handlebar in one place there. Once I got that loose, I was able to easily remove the whole metal frame in one piece and take it off. Let's get all the plastic out of the way. Now, the Amigo brand scooters are made by Zenen, Z-N-E-N. They've had fairly good reviews. Uh, from what I gather, they're a little bit reliable, a little bit better built than some of the other Chinese scooters. That said, it is a budget Chinese scooter, so I'm going to, you know, treat it accordingly. I'm only going to use it for scooting around in my neighborhood, little quick trips to the, to the grocery store. It'll only do 30 miles an hour, so I'm not getting out on the big streets with it. The one problem I did have was finding out where to plug the damn wires for the turning indicators on. There was no documentation with it whatsoever. Once I figured out how to remove the headlight cover there and uh, not break the two little tabs that go in, basically there were two screws and two tabs that you had to pop loose. And uh, I did spend a little extra time taking uh, some other screws out here. It took me about 45 minutes to unbox it, get everything set up, get it to the point where I'm putting the go-go juice in it. Let's take this bad boy out for a ride, but first we gotta get it to start. Now it took me a good four or five minutes of trying to get it to start. Once I grabbed the quick start, the bike said, nope, I'm gonna start, I don't need the quick start. So it was just a matter of getting the fuel into the carburetor and getting things primed up. Once it fired up, bike ran just fine. Speaking of running, this bike will only do about 30 miles an hour with my fat butt on it. And, uh, you know, hey, that's fine. I'm just going to use it for messing around the neighborhood. I am very impressed with the quality of the bike. Yes, everything is plastic. The front sh shell on there is plastic. Fenders are plastic and the like. So, you know, you get what you pay for. I paid $1,500. That's with tax title license. I had to pay a little bit extra to get it. Uh, because I bought it from a, a Texas uh, dealer, I had to pay a little bit extra here because I had to pay the sales tax and the license and all of that. But they're handling, they, they handled all of that for me. So uh, I've already got my temporary tag for it and I'm waiting for the metal tag in the mail. Overall, I'm very pleased with the quality of the bike. I've got all of 26 miles on it now. Just got the paper tags on it so I can be 100% street legal. Next up on my agenda here, I'm gonna be modifying it. I've got the big bore kit, the 80cc big bore kit. I've got the racing clutch. I've got the, uh, the uh, CDI without the limiter on it. So uh, there's a lot more to come on this bike here. Stick around, we're gonna play with scooters. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Click that subscribe button for more goodies. Thanks for watching.